Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Baker, the chair, and it looks like it's four o'clock, so we're going to call this meeting to order. Ms. Stevens, would you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and just to let everyone know, if for some reason we haven't pulled you over yet and you're not able to respond when your name is called, don't worry. I promise at the end of roll, I'll make sure that you're counted uh, in the roll. All right, here we go. Steve Odoricio, Adams County. Lynn Baca, Adams County. Jeff Baker, Arapahoe County. Present. Claire Levy, Boulder County. Ashley Stolzman, Boulder County. Austin Ward, City and County of Broomfield. James Marsh Holshen, City and County of Broomfield. Present. Thank you. Clear Creek County, Randy Wheelock. George Marling, Clear Creek County. Adam Paul, City and County of Denver. Here's that. Kevin Flynn, City and County of Denver. Here. George Teal, Douglas County. Abe Layden, Douglas County. Marie Mornis, Gilpin County. Andy Kerr, Jefferson County. Here. Lisa Foray, City of Arvada. Here. Angela Lawson, Aurora. Here. Larry Vidum, Bennett. Royce Pindell, Bennett. David Spellman, Blackhawk. Nicole Spear, Boulder. Present. Margo Ramsden, Bomar. Greg Mills, Brighton. Here. Deborah Mulvey, Castle Pines. Roger Hudson, Castle Pines. Tim Dietz, Castle Rock. Jason Gray, Castle Rock. Tammy Mauer, Centennial. Present. <clears throat> Todd Williams, Central City. Randy Wheel, Cherry Hills Village. Happy to be here. Awesome. Steve Douglas, Commerce City. Susan Noble, Commerce City. Michelle Rogers, Decono. Adam Moorhead, Decono. Steve Conklin, Edgewater. Here. Othaniel Sierra, Inglewood. Present. Emily Bayer, Erie. Here. Perfect. Linda Montoya, Federal Heights. Sarah Dawn Pearlstein, Federal Heights. Ray Bird, Firestone. Present. Josie Cockrell, Foxfield. Lisa Jones, Foxfield. Wendy Padilla, Frederick. Here. Lynette Kelsey, Georgetown. Rich Barrows, Georgetown. Rachel Binkley, Glendale. Ryan Tushare, Glendale. Paul Hazeman, Golden. Lisa Vitry Golden. George Lance, Greenwood Village. Here. Chuck Harmon, Idaho Springs. Here. Brian Wong, Lafayette. Hello. Jeslyn Sherzai, Lakewood. Here. Stephen Barr, Littleton. Here. Kat Bristow, Lockbuoy. Here. Marissa Harmon, Lone Tree. Present. Joan Peck, Longmont. Here. Judy Kern, Louisville. Here. Holly Rogan, Lions. Mark Browning, Lions. Colleen Whitlow, Mead. Here. Paul Sutton, Morrison. Adam Way, Morrison. Here. Paul Sutton, here. Oh, oh thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. Nicole Sterling, Nederland. Richard Condo, North Glen. Here. John Dyack, Parker. Jeff Taborg, Parker. Terrence Kelly, Sheridan. Tara Biter Fleur, Sheridan. Neil Shaw, Superior. Here. Justin Martinez, Thornton. Here. And I, I, I was here. My mic wasn't working. Oh, that's it. Thank you so much, Terrence. Appreciate that. 
Uh, Sarah Nermella, Westminster. Here. Bud Starker, Wheat Ridge. Rachel Hultin, Wheat Ridge. Darius Pockbaz, CDOT. Here. Sally Chafee, CDOT. Bill Saroy, RTD. Here. All right. And then uh, for those of you who were not able to answer, uh, if you could just raise your virtual hand. Uh, <clears throat> Looks like we have, oh, apologies. Go ahead, Doug. I was just going to say, uh, I got a text from um, Director Binkley and she's having trouble with her microphone. So I don't know if she's able to raise her hand or not, but she's here. Okay. So uh, Rachel Binkley, I see Steve Douglas. I see Deborah Mulvey. I see Lisa Vitry. I see Lynette Kelsey. And then we do have someone on the other side just labeled as Zoom user. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you now. All right, you can unmute yourself. Are you there? Yes. Oh, so and who is this? This is, this is Mayor Douglas and I'm oh, over perfect. on the iPad, but you, you did not pull me over. So I had to use my phone. That's the only way I could, I could be identified. So, but I would like to be on the iPad and not on my phone. Okay, understandable. And uh, we will make sure that you are able to speak and participate. Thank you so much for letting us know. Thank you. All right. And with that, Mr. Chair, uh, we do have a quorum. Great. Thank you everyone for um, being here and being here promptly. We appreciate it. Uh, chair would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Motion to approve. Second. So we have a motion and is there, there, there was a second. So uh, any discussion, proceed to vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Seeing none, the motion carries and our agenda is approved. I'll move on to report of the chair. I did want to make sure everyone knew that uh, tonight we need 30 votes one way or the other to approve this, um, this um, agenda item that we have. Um, that's very important for everyone to remember. The other thing is that I would like to um, make sure that everyone has been able to see uh, Miss Stevens email soliciting uh, interest and um, uh, sitting on the decarbonization or the EPA grant um, committees that are going to be formed. And that closes on Friday. So if you are interested in being part of that committee, please make yourself known to Doug Rex, myself, or Melinda, and we will forward your uh, name into consideration for that. Um, that's my chair, or the, that's my report. I do want to um, open it up for public comment. Up to 45 minutes of public comment is allocated now, and each speaker will be limited to three minutes. If there are any additional requests from the public to address the board, time will be allocated at the end of the meeting to complete public comments. The chair requests that there be no public comment on issues for which a prior public hearing has been held before this board. The consent and action items will begin immediately after the last speaker. So is there anyone online uh, that wishes to speak, Melinda? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. At this time, I don't see any hands raised, but uh, if you want to give it just a few moments. Sure. We can do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any hands raised at this time. Um, there was a chat. I just want to check the chat. I have no sure. hand either. That was Rachel. So, okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that was not somebody raising their hand that wanted to comment. All right. We will move on from public comment and we'll head to the consent agenda. The only item on the consent agenda tonight, oh, we have another hand up, Director Sutton. Yeah, I was on the sort of steering committee on the grant, you know, just paying attention sort of from a distance. I'm mm -hmm. really happy that they got this $200 million grant. I think it's fantastic. 
and I've been going to meetings, um, and I don't think it's really appropriate for me to go to these meetings. I'm in a small town. It's volunteer. It's going to be technical. I I might go to a, some of them occasionally just to keep my town staff aware. I just want to make sure that I can keep going to these meetings without getting elected because I don't have the the time commitment um, gotcha. for doing this. Uh, yeah. I, I think the meetings will be open to the public and to any director that wanted, wants to attend. It's, Thank you. They're writing the bylaws right now. So we will verify that. I don't want to say for sure, but that's my impression is that this will be public meetings and it would be um, uh, open to anyone that wants to attend and monitor. All right, so now we're going to move on to the consent agenda. The consent agenda is the summary of our last meeting on September 11th, or I'm sorry, 18th, September 18th, 2024 meeting. Um, if everyone has had a chance to review that, I would hope so. And are there any corrections or um, typos that you noticed? Please let us know. If not, those will stand as um, approved. We have one action item tonight. This is our discussion of the Regional Transportation District um, Tabor ballot question. It's attachment B in your packet. And uh, I believe, Rich Morrow, do you have any presentation or, or um, Executive Director Rex, is there a presentation tonight? I'll let Doug answer that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I, I, Mr. Chairman, if I may, and Rich is certainly welcome to to set this up. Um, I, what I wanted this year, obviously, we we had a bit of a conversation about this at our regular board meeting. We just didn't have enough members to actually pay, take a position on this bill, or sorry, on this ballot measure. Um, I did want to alert the 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 board that we did add um some additional information for you all in the packet. We we included um. RTD's presentation. They they presented to the board in April, and there were and the slides um, from slide or page three through page six of that document provided some background information on the Tabor issue as they saw it at the time. Um, so I just wanted you to be aware that that was in your packet. And um, I don't know if I know Director uh, Lynn Geisinger from RTD was planning on being on the call. She had a conflict and probably couldn't get here until about uh, four fifteen. Um, but okay. she should be available to answer any questions here in a little bit. Sounds good. I guess we'll just open it up for discussion. Um, or is there any directors that would like to comment on this uh, action item? Please raise your hand and I'll call on you. Raise your virtual hand, I should say. And I'm hoping I'm seeing, oh, there we go. Director Pat. Thank you, Chair. Um, so our council agreed to support this, but with a letter to RTD saying that um, with some of these dollars, our hope was the reason that we supported it is to give them more revenue to be able to restore some of our buses, which we haven't had since before COVID. And that... Um, they have hired enough drivers per our director, uh, Eric Davidson. And th with this revenue and the drivers that they have, I see no reason why some of our uh, buses cannot be restored. So it's been in Boulder County, both Broomfield and Longmont that have lost out on uh, restoring service after the pandemic. So just let you know that little caveat that we threw in so that it won't be the same story that we're hearing all the time. And they had a AAA rating, which means they're in very good standing with standard and poor's and that their revenue is being uh, allocated or spent um, in a wise manner, so to speak. So with all those good reports, we want our buses back. So just to let you know how our concerns are with that. Thank you. Thank you, Director Peck. I appreciate that. Um, are there any other directors that would like to um, comment on how um, their council or, or board of commissioners has um, discussed this and any, any um, 
or any abstentions. That would be interesting to know. We'll be asking for anyone that does need to abstain. Uh, we'll count you first just to determine um, the number of votes that we need to pass either way. Director Flynn. Uh, thank you, Chair uh, Baker. The, uh, I polled uh, because I represent the Denver City Council uh, members uh, on the body as opposed to Adam Paul representing the mayor. I did poll my colleagues and I had a, a, a large majority of them authorizing me to vote yes on this. So normally, you know, we abstain when we don't get direction, but I intentionally went out and got direction from them. So I will be able to vote. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Director Maurer. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that we had this opportunity for extra time to go back to our council. Because yeah, per our legislative policy, I needed to go and ask for a vote. Mm -hmm. And we had to have a super majority. So um, yeah, we did have one council person out when we took the vote, but we were not able to get that enough votes for the super majority. So there was most of us that liked it, but there was a couple and that's what made the difference. I just wanted everybody to know that. Thank you for explaining that. I, I know that one of the directors at our last meeting um, mentioned that uh, he had the support of his entire council and was able to vote. Um, we know that there are certain jurisdictions that have different policies and procedures and Arapahoe County is one of those as well. Um, Director S Sutton. I think we voted on this last night. It passed five to seven. So I intend to vote in support of this. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Any other comments? Let's see. I'm checking for hands. I don't see any. I noticed that there's some chat comments. I'm not reading those, Melinda. Okay. Littleton uh, City Council voted last night to support the measure and Denver Mayor Johnson supports. All right. Are there any questions? Maybe, oh, Mr. Hey, Mayor Starker. Thank you, Chair. Our uh, council discussed this at our last meeting. We took a majority vote to uh, support this. We did uh, have conversation around RTD uh, uh, stopping service on several of our lines in the city and expressed hope that this would uh, encourage them to continue service. We also had some discussion about this was an unending, you know, did not have a sunset date on it, but that didn't uh, seem to sway uh, a majority opinion. So that's, uh, that's sort of my report on it. Thank you very much. Uh, Director Lawson. Thank, thank you so much. I do have a question. So this was, I was unable to bring this to as a, we have to do this by resolution at our city council. So, um, so I can't say that the city supports this, but from a procedural uh, process, I just have to ask if, because I represent the city, um, as a board member, can I support it or do I need city I need for our city to be able to support this. The rules are, um, and I'm sorry if I don't understand the rules. I'm still new sure. on this um, on this board, but just wanted to understand that process. You can vote, um, Director Lawson. You can vote if if it's in compliance with your home agency rules. Yeah. Okay, I can vote um, as a board member of Dr. Cog, even though this hasn't went to our city, which we have to do things by resolution. In, so, Arapahoe, in Arapahoe County, <clears throat> I'm not allowed to, to make a vote on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners. I have to go back, get their consent. We don't do it through resolution, but um, if your rules are that you have to have the resolution of your city council in order to vote, then I think you should abstain. Okay, okay, thank you so much for that, Commissioner. Sure. Is there anyone that, I, I'm, I'm not sure if the RTD representative that we talked about um, um, was who was going to be here, have, have they been able to log on yet? Do you know, Doug? I didn't bring her over unless you did, Melinda. I don't know if, uh, Director Geisinger, I don't know if you're on the call. I don't believe okay. uh, she is on the call. 
Well, it doesn't look like there are any questions. She um she actually just showed up. So I'm okay. promoting her to a panelist right now, actually. Great. So the reason we wanted a representative from doc, from uh, RTD here is just in case any of the directors had any questions. And so we're joined by Lynn Gusinger. Is, Geisinger. Is Geisinger. Thank you very much. It's very small on my screen. Um, <laughs> does anyone have any questions for RTD? And you're muted, Lynn. I'm very sorry to be late. I had to get out of something else that was scheduled, but I'm happy hopefully, to take questions. Hopefully that was something that you're not too unhappy to miss. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Is there a question? It looks like maybe in the... I was looking chat. for hands. I didn't see anything in the chat. Um. Rachel, I know you don't have any um, hand or mic. I think you can put your vote in the chat in that case. Um, Director Kondo, you have a question or a comment? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Uh, Ms. Gusinger, for being here. Sure. I'm just referring back to the April 18th presentation. Uh, and the one question that I have is, I don't know if you have this presentation in front of you, uh, slide six, which kind of shows basically a blue and, and stacked red line with a yellow line that kind of shows the so-called ratchet effect of the Tabor limit cap. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the years on the x-axis just describe year one, two, three, four. So for me, I'm just trying to correlate what those years are exactly to try and visualize, you know, what, what kind of hit are we looking at um, in this future successive years? Can All right. you comment on that, please? I certainly can. I'm trying to get to the specific thing, but I can tell you, um, actually, just give me one second to get back to it. Uh, page six, is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. You know, this one in particular is uh, is just an example of the ratchet effect from, from uh, <clears throat> uh, if we have a year of lower revenue, a recession or where our sales tax really drops, what that does is it brings the um, the amount that we can collect down that year, and it resets it at a lower level so that we um, can collect less for future years as well. But to give you a couple of um, examples, in uh, 2022, we went back and looked at it. If we if RTD had been subject to uh, the Tabor cap, meaning we hit the the um, amount that we could. Um, based on the year, prior year's revenue plus uh, a growth factor that's judged by property tax changes and CPI. If we'd been sub subject to it in, in 2022, we probably would have refunded about 50 to $60 million. And of course, that means a lot to RTD in terms of service and maintenance and maintaining some of our, our programs like our Zero Affair for Youth and um, things like that. But it's very hard to know how to refund a sales tax because you, obviously you have business visitors, tourists, others that are paying for it. RTD has 3 million people in the district. And so assuming we could figure out a way to refund it in a, in a reasonable egalitarian way, if we refunded it to 2 million people, people would only get 25 or $30. So it's not huge refunds that we'd be giving even at the top end. Does that answer your, your question? Yes, it does. And then <clears throat> a follow on, if you indulge me here. Sure. Uh, the Y axis also is kind of vague. And I don't know if that was intentional as well. There's no units or numbers or anything like that. So, yeah. okay. you know, when you mentioned 30 to $40 million, is that kind of what I should be thinking about when you look at possibly the, the red delta in year three or year four? You know, this, it really is just a diagram of what the ratchet effect would do. Um, but say, you know, if our, our taxes went down uh, in year six, then um, the Tabor surplus or the revenue refunded goes up a lot in those following years. Um, so in 2022, it would have gone up significantly. And that effect would have lasted because it would have lowered 
the Tabor limit, which is the the blue line there. Um, and again, it's it's really just a diagram. Um, mm -hmm. So if I were to have a conversation with my residents uh, or fellow council members, would it be more useful than to look at slide ten, um, where you know it's is a cash flow statement essentially? Is, is that a better uh, reference to consider here? I'm trying to get back to it. Looks yep. like. And I, I think, Doug, there you go, Doug, you just passed it. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, I certainly can get you um, budget numbers that look good and that would be helpful. And, and uh, our five-year forecast right now does not forecast us refunding a lot of money in the next five years. There are a couple of years where we would have to refund, but there are two things that are missing. One is we don't project any recession or lowering of our sales and use tax because it's just hypothetical. There's no way for us to project that, but it's always a very real possibility. And the other one is that um, for the first time ever, the state uh, authorized money that RTD can apply for and likely will get probably somewhere in the 55 to $60 million range. And we, but that money is again, too theoretical at this point to go into our budget or our five-year plan. So those numbers aren't in there as well, but they could make a big difference in whether we're hitting the Tabor cap. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Thank you for that explanation. Thank you. Thank you. All right, any other questions? or our representative from RTD. I'm not seeing any hands raised. All right, the chair will entertain a motion to um, on the resolution concerning the RTD um, uh, ballot measure. Um, are there any motions? I will move for approval of the uh, resolution. Uh, uh, second. second. Go ahead, Doug. Mr. Chairman, if I may, um, we uh, I was I was thinking back to Director Lawson's uh, point with regards to having to pass a resolution on these things. We also have have to pass a resolution. So, if I could ask that the motion be be phrased um, as an adoption of a resolution in support, I. Of, of the measure okay. and, and we have a draft resolution in the packet which i yep. which hopefully suffices mr and chair I, and i speak upon something i'm sorry i didn't raise sure. my hand um i checked with our city and as a board member for this dr cock i can vote on this okay excellent so That's... i will be voting for this so i just want right. to sorry to interrupt the motion no problem and director flynn i think you had phrased that in in the form of a motion for a resolution to yes i don't have the I don't have the agenda in front of me, but uh, I move that we adopt the resolution in support of the RTD ballot issue. Excellent. Uh, Doug, is that sufficient? It is, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'll second. Uh, second was... Yep, Kern. I'm Sorry, I heard several seconds, but the first one I saw was Judy Kern, uh, Director Kern from Louisville. Thank you. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Uh, Director Dietz? No? Okay. I saw you. I was telling someone I was online and they were talking to me. Okay. Sorry. It's like an auction. You can't use hand gestures. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. We have a hand up from Director Padilla. Yes. Thank you. I'm just checking on when you're going to ask for abstentions. I'm going to ask for that next. Okay. I for Just for discussion purposes. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know Frederick is not in the RTD service area. Our board did have concerns about the lack of the sunset date, and we did not get a chance to discuss this as a full board. Therefore, I'm going to abstain. Thank you very much for the explanation. Um, and I just want to make sure that Ms. Stevens is ready to count. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, just... <laughs> okay, so the first thing we ask is, are there any abstentions? Please raise your virtual hand, or you can put it in chat that you are abstaining, or you can verbally tell us you're abstaining.
Yeah, this is Ray Bird. I'll abstain. Okay. Director Bird is abstaining as well. Director Douglas is abstaining, and I believe Director Maurer said she was going to. No, I will just not be able to vote in support. Okay. All right. Melinda, just let me know when you're ready to move on. Okay, I believe I recorded three abstentions. So I believe we should be okay there. Okay. Please lower your hands if you are voting to abstain or letting us know that you are abstaining. I'm next going to ask for those that are in agreement with the uh, motion to approve the resolution, please raise your virtual hand. And if everyone can please leave their hand raised until we tell you to lower them, because this is going to take a minute to count. So it would really help me out and I would very much appreciate it. And for those of you who are not able to find a virtual hand, uh, I will ask at the end of the count uh, if you can verbally tell us your vote or drop it in the chat. And for those that can't find a hand, it's under in mine. It's under reactions. If you click on the reactions tab, then you'll see raise your hand. Hey, Sherry, how do you spell abstain? I'm sorry, who was that again? Oh, that was Director Lance. He, he, uh, he's an abstention. Okay. All right, thank you for that. Um, I believe I captured all of the hand raises and then, um, Okay, Neil Shaw, I saw that you were able to find the hand raise. And then uh, we do, uh, Rachel Binkley, I believe you said that you needed to vote via chat. Okay, yep, we have a yes from her. Director Conklin in chat. Okay, perfect. All right, and if you'll just uh, allow me a few moments to actually go through the count, I would very much appreciate sure. it. So give me just a moment while I do so. We can lower our hands now. I'm assuming. All right, Mr. Chair, it looks like that we have 32 in favor. Okay, does that mean I should not? Uh, my next, I was going to ask for those to vote that are against the resolution. Uh, I, I would leave that up to you if you would like to have that for the record. Yeah, I do want people to be on the record if they need to be for their home jurisdiction. Those of you who are against the um, resolution being approved, Please raise your hands now. All right, Mr. Ch Chair, we have two oppositions that I can see at this time. 
Very good. So currently the vote is 32 to two. And that would carry the motion. We need 30 votes. So that motion carries. And so Dr. Cog will um, issue the resolution in support of Dr. C um, in support of RTD's um, ballot measure. Thank you very much for your votes tonight. I really appreciate it. Let me get back to the agenda just to make sure I'm not um, missing anything here. Thank um, you very much from me. I appreciate it. <laughs> and we all do at RTD. Thanks. You bet. Our next meeting is October 16th, 2024. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I am oh, go so. Oh, go ahead, Melinda. You do, you do it. Um, I am so sorry. Is there a way that we could uh, go back and uh, receive an official motion to approve the consent agenda? Sure, I can. Thank you uh, so much. Can I get a motion from some director to approve the consent agenda? I move to approve the consent agenda. Excellent. Second. Second, we have a second. Any further discussion? If not, then uh, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any against, any opposed? Same sign. Hearing none, that motion carries. Sorry about that. Some of the meetings I chair, we have to approve the consent agenda. Others, we just... Um, if there's no objection, we move on. No worries at all. All right. All right, everyone. Our next meeting, as uh, we said, is October 16th, 2024. Does anyone have anything for the good of the group? If not, thank you for being here and thank you for your vote. Appreciate it. And we'll see you on the 16th. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Bye. I appreciate y'all. Thanks. Bye.